Hello everyone and welcome to the third video in the cash flow statement lessons. So in the first and second videos, we have learned the basics of a cash flow statement. I've told you about what a cash flow statement is and how it's prepared. Uh, so if you still have not watched those vi two videos, I recommend that you watch them because if you have not understood the basics, this is absolutely not going to make any sense. So if you know our first and second videos, you will not be able to do it. 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 So you will not be able to do it. Anyway, so this problem has given us a balance sheet. and we have notes to accounts and from ex and uh, some extra in information as well so from this we have to prepare a cash flow statement okay now we'll go through one of all the items and see how they will be shown on the cash flow statement so first share capital so share capital bandu uh, financing activities are now those three so increase in uh, capital and tha reserves and surplus that's the starting point now we start with the difference in the reserves and then trade payables other current liabilities will be shown under operating activities and then we have fixed assets here fixed assets bandu now we in investing al torstivi current assets matte um operating activities kade torsod now cash equivalents uh, we don't do that yakandre now start madadu um profit inda and final lagi now ee figure na prove martivi ishtinda ishtagide anta okay and then we have notes to accounts so share capital we have equity and preference shares so there has been some changes in that and then reserves and surplus there's general reserve and balance in profit and loss account and then we have trade payables so bills payable so this will be shown in operating activities other current liabilities also operating activities short term provisions idinna bandu navu starting profit alli adjust martivi so net profit before tax and extraordinary items alli now start madadu so this should be adjusted with the net profit tangible assets um this will again be shown in the investing activities and we have some additional information depreciation to be charged on land and plant i mean depreciation was charged on land and plant 20000 and 10000 respectively okay so first cash flow statement alli navu we start with net profit so we need net profit before tax and extraordinary items so in the problem the notes to account says general reserve was 8000 in 2016 and now it's 12000 so hagadre enagide 4000 we have transferred to general reserve so um transfer to general reserve is 4000 profit and loss account balance kuda uh, change agide so it was 7200 but now it is 10800 so the difference is the profit that we have in the profit and loss account so 3600 uh, balance in pl so the total profit for the year was 7600 so this is the net profit for the year now we need net profit before tax and um, extraordinary items so now start madadu cash flow statement a figure inda so adakke nav en martivi andre extraordinary items and tax add martibeku so first we do tax namge um, short term provision notes only that so we have short term provisions as um, provision for tax and proposed dividend so ee varsha namge tax irad bandu 12800 so we add that so that's the provision we have made which means that's what we are going to uh, be paying and then proposed dividend proposed dividend again id bandu nabu operating activities al baralla so this is actually um, to be shown under financing activities and because it's for this year now adanna add madbeka yakandre idinna nabu deduct maadidivi profit inda now ee provision na create madadaga we have deducted this proposed dividend but we have actually still not paid that so that's why we'll be adding it back so proposed dividend is 15600 okay so now we are going to add and see what is the net profit we have before tax and extraordinary item so that is 36000 net profit before so uh, that will be the starting point so now first to net profit so 36000 okay so idikke navu non cash items na add markobeku so yakandre ನಾವು ನಮಗೆ ಬೇಕಾಗಿರೋದು ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೋ ಔಟ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಎಷ್ಟಾಗಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಬಟ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲಿ ಈ ನೆಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಎಷ್ಟೋ ನಾನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ತವೆ ಮೇನ್ಲಿ ಡೆಪ್ರಿಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಅಂತವೆಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕೆಲ್ಲ ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಔಟ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಆಗಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಆಡ್ ದೋಸ್ ಫಿಗರ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ಸೊ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಡೆಪ್ರಿಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಆನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಟ್
ಟೆನ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಅದೆರಡನ್ನ ಆ್ಯಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋಣ ಸೊ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಡೆಪ್ರಿಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ತರ್ಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ದೆರ್ ಆರ್ ನೋ ನಾನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅಡಿಷನಲ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಶೀಟ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ನೋಡ್ಬೇಕು ಏನಾದರೂ ಇಂಥ ನಾನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ರಿಸರ್ವ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸರ್ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಶೇರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಟಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲ ಏನೂ ಬರೋಲ್ಲ ಇದು ಬಂದರೆ ನಾವು ಇವಾಗ ನೋಡ್ತೀವಿ ಈ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಲೈಬಿಲಿಟೀಸ್ನ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿ ಇಂಟ್ಯಾಂಜಿಬಲ್ ಅಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಇಯರ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗಲ್ಲಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಇತ್ತು ಬಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಎಂಡಲ್ಲಿ ಏಯ್ಟೀನ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾದರೆ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೊ ಇಂಟ್ಯಾಂಜಿಬಲ್ ಅಸೆಟ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಡೆಪ್ರಿಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ರೈಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಥವಾ ಅಮೋರ್ಟೈಸೇಷನ್ ಅಂತೀವಿ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಅವರೇನು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಅಡಿಷನಲ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅಮೋರ್ಟೈಸೇಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಏನು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬೀನ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಸೀ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಇದನ್ನ ನಾವು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿ ತೋರಿಸಿರ್ತೀವಿ ಈ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ನ ನಾವು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿ ತೋರಿಸಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಬಟ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಅದೊಂದು ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಔಟ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಅಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಆ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ನ ನಾವು ಆ್ಯಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಡೆಪ್ರಿಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಂಟ್ಯಾಂಜಿಬಲ್ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಸೊ ಇಂಟ್ಯಾಂಜಿಬಲ್ ಸೊ ಅದು ಬಂದು ಫೈವ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಅದು ಬಿಟ್ಟರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಅಸೆಟ್ಸ್ನ ನಾವು ಇವಾಗ ತೊಗೊಳ್ತೀವಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ನೋಟ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಈಗ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಪ್ರೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಇನ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಟಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಟು ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಯಾವಾಗಲೂ ನೆಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾರ್ಡನರಿ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ ತೊಗೋಬೇಕು ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಈ ನಾನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ನ ಆ್ಯಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಡೆಪ್ರಿಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅಮೋರ್ಟೈಸೇಷನ್ ಇಂಥವೆಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಹೊರಗಡೆ ಹೋಗಿಲ್ಲ ಬಟ್ ನಾವು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿ ತೋರಿಸಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಬಟ್ ಅದನ್ನು ಆ್ಯಡ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ನಮಗೆ ಬರೋದು ಆಪ್ರೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಶ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಇನ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಟಲ್ ಸೊ ಈಗ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಟಲ್ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ನ ನಾವು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಸೊ ನಾನು ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ವೀಡಿಯೋದಲ್ಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಹೇಗೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಒಂದೊಂದು ಐಟಮ್ನ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ um current assets so inventories inventories were 34000 at the end of last year and this year they have come down to 31200 so enagide andre inventories kadme agide so kadme agide andre na naturally sell madidivi anta artha okay sell madidivi andre enagide namge cash inflow aagta irutte so adanna na navu inflow aagi illi torisbeku so um inventories have come down so cash inflow though so that's why you will show that um you will add it because you are receiving cash so 2800 okay next one the trade receivables there. so trade receivables came um not seen illa so naturally trade receivables were 30000 at the end of last year but this year they have come to 43200 so what has happened is we have made credit sales so when we make credit sales naturally there is no inflow of cash but in the profit we will show it as revenue because it is concerned with this year so because there's no inflow of cash we'll have to deduct this difference um trade receivables increase is 13000 200 so that will be deducted okay cash equivalents now to vallala and okay that's done now let's come to the liabilities so trade payables ide so trade payables bandu 14000 itthu year starting alli iga 21200 agide so andre enagide naavu credit purchases madidivi credit purchases madidivi andre naavu cash na pay madilla but ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಪೇ ಮಾಡ್ದಂಗೆ ತ
but because these expenses are outstanding naturally this expense would have been shown in the previous year's profit and loss account statement so this year it has not been shown as an expense but this year there has been an outflow of cash ala so ee varsha cash outflow agide adre na vidinna il torsilla yakandre ee expense na od varshade torsibittivi yakandre id outstanding expense so cash outflow agide so namage bekagirad ade ala so est outflow agide andre 800 so adanna naavu deduct madbeku so decrease in outstanding expenses should be deducted okay and then short term provisions we have already considered that so we won't have to worry and then apart from that everything else is been taken care of in terms of the working capital so now we ga idanna adjust maadi nodadaga namge so ig barad bandu namge 67200 okay so itralli navu tax bandu operating activity so now we have to show uh, what is the cash flow from operating activities after the payment of tax so now what we are assuming is this year we have made this much of provision but last year we would have made the provisions as well and that's what we are paying now so ee varshad provisions idu last year madira provisions na navu iga pay maartirtivi so iga pay madirad navu 11200 tax so adanna navu illi minus maarkobeku so ide cash flow from operating activities investing activities if you recall is you know all those activities that uh, are, are concerned with the acquisition or disposal of uh, fixed assets so now fixed assets no 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 first namge tangible and intangible ide ad bitre non current investments ide so mainly ive namge concern uh, investing activities alli so idinna ondanda no no first tangible assets evaglu account prepare madadu is advisable so when you prepare an account you will know if there has been any sale or purchase so that should be shown in the cash flow statement so let's prepare a rough account for the tangible assets so land and building opening balance was 40000 and closing balance is 20000 so so land is an asset so naturally it will have a debit balance so balance brought down was 20000 sorry 40000 and the closing balance balance carried down is 20000 okay depreciation was 20000 so depreciation will reduce the assets balance so that's why you will show it on the credit side so depreciation was 20000 okay so there is no purchase or sale of land and building so ನೀವು ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿದ್ರೇ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಬಟ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಡ್ವೈಸಬಲ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಿಫರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಫಿಗರ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ದಾಗ ನಿಮಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಈ ಕಡೆ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ದರೆ ಅದು ಬಂದು ಪರ್ಚೇಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಂದರೆ ಅದು ಸೇಲ್ ಅಂತ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಡನ್ ನೋ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಓಪನಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸಿಂಗ್ ವಾಸ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಸೊ ತರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಓಪನಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾರಿಡ್ ಡೌನ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ depreciation was 10000 so you show, show depreciation here 10000 now naturally the balance is more on the debit side so there is 86400 86400 50400 so ee kade balance bandide agadre navu ishtanna purchase maadidivi so this will be shown as bank account so ishtanna purchase maadidivi means there has been an outflow of this much okay so this one we'll be showing on the investment activities okay so we got it so land and building in agila but we have purchased plant so purchase of plant 50400 so naturally when you purchase there is an outflow so that's why that's a negative figure and then here we say non current investments were 4000 in the beginning of the year and end of the year 14000 so hagadre now idinna kuda purchase maadidivi osa investments 10000 now so there has been cash outflow so you will show that one as well here okay so apart from this there is nothing else that has actually been an outflow of cash yakandre uh, nothing else is concerned with the investing activities so the total is 60400 so 60400 is cash outflow and now lastly we'll have cash flow from financing activities
Okay, so naturally financing activities um, are those activities that uh, affect the capital structure of the firm. So, no, I am not So, I think capital is not enough. So, I am not going to um, share capital 80,000 is 120,000. So, I got 40,000 now shares issue. Mari TV. So, when you issue shares, there is inflow of cash. So, that's why you will show that as a positive um, uh, cash. So, that is cash inflow. So, issue of and that is 40,000. And then preference shares were 40,000, but now they are 20,000. So, I got now shares na redeem Mari TV, pay Mari TV. So, pay Mari TV, cash na pay Mari TV. So, there is a cash outflow. Of twenty thousand mm. financing activities only. Now we bear in with loss. So the only item that remains is the dividend. So dividend bandu now last year dividend na year pay made thi bhi. So idhen na now last year create made rado. Adhen na now year varsha pay made thi bhi. So cash outflow is tagi dhen thora ke na adhen na kora tiki bhi. Kya kandra adhen na now year varsha pay made thi bhi. Okay. So deduct. So eight thousand eight hundred. Sorry. So cash flow from operating has been so much, investing is to financing is to. So total cash flow is tagi denta, net cash flow under Marti Andre 1 plus 2 plus 3. So all the three headings. So avag martag namak barada total cash flow. Andre inflow na outflow is tagi denta. So ega namak gota gide 4400. So this is the actual cash uh, flow. So ish to namge cash holgade bandi de. So Opening balance na matra cash did bandu six thousand eight hundred last year. So ega na mge cash inflow net cash inflow gira do four thousand four hundred. So na within eva ga add opening cash matra closing cash balance baratte. Opening cash balance was six thousand eight hundred. So now when you add the op um, opening cash to the cash uh, flow that we have, we'll get the closing cash balance, which is 11,200. Okay, so that's what we have here. So once you get this closing cash balance as correct, it's an uh, indication that you have done everything correctly, but still it's important that you show each of the items under the appropriate headings. Okay. So that's a problem on cash flow statement. We are going to do another one in the next video. Uh, but if you have any questions in this, feel free to let me know and I will answer them as quickly as possible. So another Arthagil Andre Haley. But still, I will see you in the previous videos. Thank you and I'll see you soon.